Hi, in this video, we will see how we can run our automation test on Chrome browser. We will use Selenium and Python all together and this will be the Mac version of this tutorial. And the ID, I will use VS Code. In the last video, we used PyCharm, but if you want to use PyCharm, uh, please check that other video. Uh, this video is dedicated to, uh, to use Selenium and Python all together on VS Code on Mac version of computer and here we will automate the Chrome browser. Okay, let's get started. To automate the Chrome browser, we need to download the Chrome driver. Okay, we can download Chrome driver from selenium.dev website. So this is the official website of Selenium where you can download all the related uh, plugins or add-ons or driver from this website. I mean here you will find all the link. So in this website, there will be download links. So right now the download links is at the top of the menus. But for your case, this download uh, link uh, might be in different location like left side or right side. Basically, they are updating their website continuously. So uh, it's very difficult to mention that these downloads will be located for every time. Okay. So if you don't see this type of download links, just figure out where is the download links on this page. There must be some download links. So once you find the download links, just click on the downloads link and then you will be appear, uh, it will be presented in this type of page. Okay, so just scroll down a little bit slowly and you will see somewhere there is written like platforms supported by Selenium. Okay, and here there are two sections on this browsers and operating system. Basically, we need to download the driver for our browser. So we'll use Chrome browser, we already discussed, and then uh, if we click the browser, it will expand. And here you will find on link like Chrome. Okay, so basically, this is the download link of Chrome driver, and you will find the link over there so we just need to click there to go to the uh, chrome driver uh, download location okay so in this page you will find there are all versions of uh, available uh, driver here we don't need to download here we have to go first here downloads and once you click the download then you will see there are uh, several versions of chrome uh, are there like 83 81 80 these versions and for particular version the related uh, driver is on that line right side okay this is mentioning like this if you are using chrome 83 then please download this thing so we have to download a particular versions of driver for our chrome browser but the question is how can we uh, find that the version of our chrome driver will be either 80 80 or 83 or something else to know the browser version we have to do the following do we have to just click on these three dots and then after that you will see this type of menus and uh, go to the down and you see it help and from there if you move your cursor on the help uh, to, uh, menu then you will see that about chrome just click there and it will open the chrome driver versions details okay and you will see here the right now the version of chrome is 81 so basically we need to download this version of driver okay so if for your case if it is like 100 version just you have to download the 100 version of chrome okay but for my case it is 81 right now so i will download this version of chrome driver so i'm going to close this thing because we know don't need this page anymore and then i'm going to the download page uh, of chrome driver okay now here it is 81 okay so we have to basically download this one okay so to download this just double just click on top of it and it will open uh, this type of page and over there there you will find different versions of uh, chrome driver like windows version mac version linux version we are using mac computer so we have to download this version right the mac 64 just click there and it will start downloading on the download is finished then go to the download location i'm going to minimize this thing because we don't need uh, browser anymore so this is my download location okay uh, on my computer uh, if i click downloads i see that the chrome driver max 64 it is downloaded what we have to do we have to extract this uh, driver so how can you extract we can just double click or you can use some other software to extract and after extraction you'll find this type of thing the chrome driver it will be inside the zip so we need to put this uh, file or this driver in our project location now let's go to the visual studio in the uh, video tutorial where we actually discussed how we can install selenium on visual studio code at that time uh, we created this type of folder like uh, selenium python okay so now our goal is to uh, write some script uh, which can automate the browser okay so for that case at first uh, create a package first so we can create a package by uh, move or uh, just uh, move your cursor up top of it and then you will find new folder just click there and write some something like selenium project selenium project i just typed anything this is our package okay inside it we will actually create the python file now let's create a python file so to create a python file what we have to do uh, we have to select this folder because we want to uh, create a python file from here 
in this folder actually so just click there right click and then new file and it will create a file uh, file under this and just type it uh, like chrome chrome underscore driver underscore mac this is mac version of computer just i type it and then finally uh, vs code code and then at the end you should have to type poi because this is a python script okay then hit return key and then that file will be created okay so this is the whole file chrome driver mac bash uh, vs code that means visual studio dot py i just typed this way uh, but you can uh, you are free to uh, type the type any name uh, for this python file okay so we created this python file and uh, now what we have to do we have to uh, copy that driver i need i mean uh, we have to link that driver to our project okay so for that case what we can do we can go to the selenium folder and then uh, we can go to the particular location so i know uh, this uh, the location of the selenium python folder right so we have to go there so what i'm doing i'm going to that folder location where i created that uh, selenium python project so, uh, so i created uh, under few steps and there is a uh, project uh, there is a folder basically selenium python this is the folder so here we created this thing see now we are seeing that uh, selenium project is already created over there and here if we open then we'll see that python file is there which is just created okay this one okay anyway so our goal is to put our driver here and uh, create folder new folder and then just type it uh, like drivers i'm putting drivers uh, because uh, here right now we will put uh, the chrome browser in future actually we need to test our application for different browsers uh, like chrome uh, firefox browser or safari browser or uh, like uh, opera browser something like that okay or uh, microsoft s browser at that time we can actually combine all the drivers inside it so it will be uh, more easier to access and we can easily uh, actually browse our code easily and we can keep our code more modularized okay so i'm going to this driver inside and here we have to put that file we downloaded that chrome driver here and extract it so what you have to do we have to put it from to here because this is the driver's location okay we'll put it here so i'm doing from dragging and dropping it here so it will move from there to there but you can cut paste or you can copy paste anything you can you know, whatever you're uh, you like uh, you can do that but the goal is uh, we have to put this driver in the driver's uh, folder okay now the folder uh, that driver is located in the driver's folder okay so what we have to do we have to create our selenium script now let's jump to the script when we we'll work in visual studio code visual studio will sometimes suggest uh, some add-ons to install or plugins to install one of them is the pylint when it pops up like this we have to install by clicking on this thing and once the installation is successful you will get this type of message like success so in this way you can install pylint and the second plugin is uh, like this type of plugin is very useful that is called autopep uh, it will suggest you like this way also and then what you have to do you have to just install it uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward you don't need to configure anything just uh, press the install thing and then it will install automatically everything in the back end and just wait few more seconds uh, once it is finished then you will get the confirmation message that uh, it is success now let's uh, create our fast script uh, which can automate the uh, chrome uh, google chrome browser so at first we need to import the web driver so from selenium right so we have to type from then we have to type selenium and then import import web driver so once the web driver is imported then we can uh, use this web driver to open uh, to exhibit the chrome driver so we can, what we can do web driver dot chrome and then inside it we have to type the executable path so this is the executable path and what is the location of the path the path location is under drivers okay so here inside the double uh, in single quote we have to type uh, dot that means it goes to the root and then this is the root then it will go to driver then slash driver drivers because this is yes okay and under it it has chrome driver so if type that name okay so this is the whole path uh, here i am using single code but you can also use double code but the thing is that if you use single code whole program uh, you have to type single code if you put double code then in the whole program you will type double code okay that that is the python syntax uh, to define a string okay so uh, in this way we can execute this thing let me uh, create on a variable like driver and i initialize it uh, the whole thing web driver chrome this thing okay now what we have to do uh, we have to uh, open uh, some url right so uh, we can use driver dot get 
get into the method to open some URL. So I'm typing the URL of Google. So every URL it should start with HTTP. Otherwise you will get some error. Okay, it will not open. And then after that we have to type www.google.com. Okay, so this is the script. So what we did, we created a driver. Uh, actually we imported the web driver and after that we created a driver and it is going to execute through from this path and it will open uh, Google Chrome and after opening Google Chrome it will go to this space now let's run it to run this application or this is script actually what we have to do we can actually click this triangle green triangle or we can do one thing we can right click and then we can uh, write this uh, choose this thing write python file in the terminal so this python file will be executed in the python terminal just click it and then it will execute the script and just see the magic so it is actually executing and once it is executed then it is opening the google chrome browser and then after that it goes to the google.com this website okay it is able to uh, access uh, this thing okay so in this way you can easily uh, automate the thing now we can close this thing okay so now i want to mention you one thing so here we used executable path and we used this type of path right what it is what it is doing it is actually going to the root of this folder and then after that diverse chrome driver uh, this thing it is working in this way right so uh, this program is working fine okay but you can actually put this path another way so for example uh, that located in here right so if you right click and then if we choose uh, open information something like that get information sorry get information then it will uh, show us the detailed paths okay so from here you can also copy the whole path okay right click and copy and you can put it like this way this and after that there is chrome driver okay so this is the whole path okay but the problem is uh, if you move your uh, this posit folder i mean this selenium posit folder to some particular location or some particular drive or from if you move your uh, this like this code to other computer then this will break because uh, it is using my computer name this is me this is my username okay so for other co people it might be like a or something xyz something like that so this code will not be executed so to make it uh, more portable basically what we do we use actually reality path for reality path what it is doing it is actually always try to search from the root okay so this file is located under here right the selenium posit so what will it do it will go to the root of this folder so this is the root okay and then after that what it is doing it is go to drivers then drivers and then after that chrome driver chrome driver just remember this thing uh, later i will discuss you more details but till now as you are the beginner or you just started your coding uh, how to automate uh, basically browser so i should you in this way if you need more explanation i will discuss this later i will actually create on particular video where i will mention all the uh, details in this way we can easily run our automation test on chrome browser using selenium and python and this is a back version of this tutorial and we use visual studio code and here again i'm telling you uh, this path is very important don't forget it uh, we used relative path so what it is been we put a dot that means uh, this script is located here so what it will do it will go at the top it will jump in the root folder okay this is the root folder selenium python okay so uh, after going there what it will do it will access drivers folder so where is the driver folder after that this is the driver folder and then it will find the chrome driver this is the chrome driver so in this way we actually mentioned the path if you, if you for your case if you mistype the path name or something like that you will get error like file not found or something like or driver not found something you will find okay so be careful of that and thank you for watching so i wish and i hope that uh, after watching this video tutorial you are able to run automation test on chrome browser using selenium and python together on your mac computer and using visual studio code if you want to know how to automate uh, the same type of thing uh, in other browser or other version of mac or uh, other id please check my other video from the playlist i will actually explain over there thank you for watching the video if you feel this video is useful and if you really enjoy this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and if you are new to our channel please subscribe and thank you for watching see you on the next video